What's going on guys? Welcome back to Paper Mario Sticker Star. Last time we explored the forest again. Not all of it this time. We only explored enough of it to obtain the HP 1-ups that we needed, which as you can see we did. We are now at 75 HP, which is amazing. Today we are going to be making our way to world number 4. But before we begin, do me a favor and drop a like on this video. We actually aren't going to be playing the first level of world 4, so don't get your hopes up. There's a lot of backstory uh, I guess not really backstory, but there's a lot of story leading up to it uh, before we can actually do anything. So we're going to go ahead and just get that all out of the way right now. I totally forgot about this, but you know, it's going to be interesting. There's a couple of things that I want to actually test out in this episode that I read online, but I'm not sure if they're necessarily true. So we're going to test them out and see if it works. And I'll let you know everything that I'm talking about in a sec. But first of all, what am I doing here? I'm here to obtain the scissors again. Yep, even though I got these things before, you use them once, uh, you lose them all the way. Like, you have to go back and actually get it from the spot that you found it at the first time. Which is really silly, because they should be able to paperize a thing without actually losing the thing. I mean, I don't know why they would literally turn that thing into a piece of sticker. When they could just, you know, make a replica... And like, you know, like uh, a replica card of uh, in, in, in color splash. They did it right in that game. But in this game, I guess it was a prototype. So it is whatever. I can't be upset, really. So anyways, what are we here to do? We're here to paperize a couple things. First of which is the light bulb. Let's go ahead and paperize that. Once we got that thing paperized, we're going to move on to the next. Ooh, that's a tiny sticker. Very nice. All right, next thing is going to be the hook. I'm uh, going to go ahead and paperize that. It's going to be a big jumbo size sticker, which is all good. We have six pages, so we're fine. And then we're going to do the radiator. We're going to need that for the next episode. So we might as well just do it while we're here so we don't have to come back. And then the last but not least is going to be the scissors that we just picked up. So everything will make a lot of sense soon. But uh, before we actually do that, I want to also go buy some stickers. I shouldn't be buying stickers. I can't afford to buy stickers. I have like 600 coins. I need to be budgeting myself. But you know what? Let's go all in. We're going to go all out. I'm going to blow all my coins. I'm going to be broke by the end of this episode. Not really. I'm not going to blow the 600 coins that I have. So let's see. What am I going to get? I'm going to get a couple of these, I guess. I like hop slippers. We'll go a couple of these. Helmets. So I'll get a shell. Uh, a couple iron jumps, and then a couple of those. So, so far, everything looks good. Another power block, I guess. Uh, the good thing is that these stickers are dirt cheap. However, they don't really do that much damage on enemies towards the end of the game. So, I mean, it's a bargain at the beginning of the game. But towards the end of the game, you're going to want to start investing into the larger stickers. Because they do a lot more damage. And they're, they're, they're a lot more expensive. But, um... I guess if you're battling enemies, it's not really an issue. For me, I just try to avoid them at all costs, so it's always a big problem for me. But anyways, there's supposed to be a room here that we're going to visit, first of all. I don't know which room it is. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, the vacuum is up here again. Did I not get this the first time? I could have sworn I got the vacuum. Oh, yeah, that's right, but I used it. I used it in the desert. I totally forgot. I used it in Desert Oasis. Remember, we found the secret oasis, and then the toad was happy. He was chillaxing, having a grand old time. So, anyways, we're coming down here. This place is pitch black, um, and the light obviously went out. So, it's a good thing that we have a light bulb. For those of you who don't know where to get the light bulb, you get it from Yoshi Sphinx. So, yeah, you, you that's, that's where you get the light bulb, I guess. All right, let's go ahead and place oh, Wow, such a giant space for a little tiny sticker. Did I just waste it? I didn't waste it. But hey, look at that, dude. It's a thing for a ship. This is exactly what I need. Hey, wake up, dude. What is your problem? Why are you sleeping? Yeah, no, Mario. Oh, hey, I was in the middle of looking for something when the light went out. Boom, pitch black, and then boom, fast asleep. Sorry to block your way. I have a habit of sleeping really, really heavily when the lights go out. Honestly, to goodness. All right. Here we go. We got it. I want to know what this thing is called. It's called the ship wheel. I knew it. I thought it had a specific name. Like, I always thought it had a unique name, not just the ship wheel. Ship wheel sounds too simple. It's easy to figure out, you know? But it's a scrap, so it's not a thing. A scrap is pretty much a thing that's already a, a, a paperized, so it's just known as a scrap. So, like this, if like the stairs were to fall off or I were to pick them up, those would be considered scraps, not things. Things would only be like actual objects with uh, with different size and dimensions. I don't know why I did that. I, that's so unnecessary. 
I'm just greedy for he for health. Mario's greedy for life, dude. That's it. That's all it is. So, uh, that Toad is going to tell you something about how he can't move his boat. There are two main reasons. First of all, he doesn't have the wheel. Second, his boat is literally tied to the shore. So, it's not like, or I guess to the dock. I don't know. I don't know anything about shipping or boats or any of that. So, I'm the wrong person to talk to about this. This is This is the only, this is as much as I would know. Just from playing video games. Hey, don't be so sad, bro. I got it. I got your wheel. Greetings. I'm the ship's captain. Yes, it is my job to pilot this craft upon the briny deep butt. Just look at it. My beautiful ship. It's broken down and won't budge. I am captain, not a mechanic. I have no clue what the problem could be. Whatever should I do? Well, I'm going to fix it for you. They don't call me Bob the Mario for nothing. Mario the Builder. Oh, gosh. I didn't even realize I just made a Super Mario Maker reference there. Let's get it, Mario builds levels and he plays them afterwards. I, mean, I guess it's you building the levels, but still, hey, I did it! Ah, so there wasn't any will. I knew it, something didn't look right. No wonder it wouldn't move. Thank you, good sir. You certainly are a first rate mechanic. Now I can get back to the or to being a glorious sea spearing captain. All aboard, anchors away, full of steam ahead. Stow your tray tables. Who's he talking to? Alright, let's go. Shall we move? Yes! Okay, the part of the big move. Full steam ahead. This is it, guys. We are now heading to world number four. Obviously, you have to cross the sea to get there. So, look at this guy. He's watching us. I don't know. He has such a... Uh-oh. Oh, no, dude. Is that Moby Dick? Every pirate's fear. And there it is, guys. A cheap, cheap. On the loose. So, I guess we have to eradicate it. If you guys want free fish, come over to Mario's crib tonight. We'll be serving free filet. Or, I guess filet mignon is meat, but, you know, fish filet is what I meant to say. Uh, we're going to be serving a lot of fish filet. It's going to be the best kind of seafood ever out there. Look at these guys. They're running away. They're so scared. All right. We're going to have to battle this thing, which is why, obviously, we did the hook. We got the hook. And uh, if you don't know, this toad will give you a nice little... Uh, uh, a nice little insight on how to defeat him. So let's go ahead and start off this battle by just doing a a trifecta spin. All right. So what I read online apparently was if you use a spike helmet, you could kill a cheap cheap literally in one hit. So I'm gonna actually use one of these helmets, and then I will use. I guess I'll use just like a a big jump or whatever. I right, go ahead. Alright, and iron jump. One, two, three, four, five. Very nice. So he's pretty easy is what it looks like. And then he comes. Oh, eight damage. That's it? That was it? Somebody told me you couldn't do instant death on this guy. Alright, that's definitely not true. But it's no. there's no point in wasting your stickers right now uh, trying to kill him on the first go. Because what happens is he ends up going in the water, replenishes his HP, which is not okay. Because then if you keep doing that... You know, you're going to attack him, you're going to replenish HP, you're going to attack him, replenish HP. Ooh, dang, 10 damage, bro? Are you serious? All right, so what you actually need to do, I believe, is use the... Wait, what? Do I not have the hook? I thought I... Oh, there it is. I was going to say, what? We're going to use the hook. We're going to fish him out. He's not escaping us today, is he? All right, fishy, 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 come out. There we go. Oh, yeah, we got him. We got him hooked. There you go. Now he's angry. But I actually don't know if he's going to end up going back in the water or not. Like, I really don't know if I screwed up. But let's go ahead and just... Uh... Oh, yes. We got two coins. Nice. All right. Let's see. What can I do? What can I do to kill him real quick? Um, hmm. I'll go ahead and use... I guess I'll just go ahead and just use two of these. Why not? All right, here we go. One, two, three. Oh, it's doing two damage per hit. Nice. I'll take that. Two damage meaning 20 HP total. So we could probably do it in like four goes. I guess five. About five goes. But please don't tell me he goes back in the water. Because then if he does, I screwed up. Oh! All right, I'm going to go ahead and use a helmet now. I'm going to use a helmet and three hop slippers. Or two hop slippers. Oh, come on. I wish I could get a trifecta, dude. That would have been amazing. Whatever. I guess we have to use these. I wish I had some shiny hop slippers. Imagine if I did. 
Dude, this thing would have been done and over with. All right, here we go. Whatever, it's fine. We're just slowly chipping away through his HP. 20 more. He's going to have eight left by the end of this. All right, I hope he doesn't go back in the water. That would really, really suck. I don't know if that's what he does, honestly, but I kind of, I could see him totally doing it. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. All right, he's, he's on the verge of dying. We don't need to do anything else. How can we just keep getting bigger? It doesn't make sense. And there he is. He's dead. Peace out, Girl Scout. See you later, sucker. Very nice. That's it. Oh, my days. It's Mario the Master. I mean, landing a huge fish like that. You have to let me call you the Master. Thanks. So, that was pretty much it. It was one of those in-between boss battle things, you know. It wasn't really much of a boss battle. Uh, it was just it was it was just uh, a quick little thing that we did. Now I'm out of stickers, which sucks. But I think that's pretty much it. We're going to end off the episode here. So next time, we're going to officially start on world number four. Um, let me actually show you how everything works, though, in terms of like how it looks like on the map. So you go over to the captain. Let's actually set hill. Such a monstrous cheap cheap rising forth from the depths. Truly, the sea is an unnotable font of frights. Compared to the Leviathan, my little existence seems so tiny. I think I'll confine myself to dry land for a time in order to take uh, a long, hard look at who I am. In other words, I'm stepping down, Mario. Take the wheel and use the ship as you fit. Oh my gosh. I appoint you captain. All hail the new captain. Peace out, dude. I went from being Mario to becoming Jack Sparrow in a matter of 10 minutes. It's pretty awesome. But yeah, here we go. The ship taken off. This reminds me of uh, Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. We had to, you know, use Hooktail's ship. Not Hooktail. Uh, Hooktail's the dragon, but that one pirate. Pi pirate Cortez was his name. But yeah, you see, you can actually go ahead and make your way to 6-1 Gate Cliff, which, you know, I know you probably are wondering what it is. I'll go ahead and show you so you can satisfy your little heart. You can't do much here. It's literally just the Gate Cliff. It's pretty much nothing. You see, there's nothing that we could do here. Hmm, looks like a cliff wall is a dead end. Exactly. They just tease you. And that's pretty much it. So you can just check and leave. Woohoo! And then it takes you back to the world map. Oh, that's cool. It's like spirit tracks. It shows you every single motion. Bye bye Gate Cliff! So the idea is that World 6 is supposed to be unaccessible until until you beat the the other two remaining worlds so anyways guys next time we're going to be playing through snow rise thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all then peace out